Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is another floral card. This card has very simple stamping and I've used the Dragonfly Garden Stamp Set to do that. It's the background on this card that makes it special and I've created four panels of different colours using an ink blending technique. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. The colours I'm using for the background are Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Blushing Bride and Highland Heather. And these are all from the Settles family. Now I'm going to apply the ink using our blending brushes. Now I'm using one for each of the colours but you don't have to do this. If you only have a limited number of brushes and you want to use one brush for multiple colours, all you have to do is work the brush onto a microfiber cloth in between changing the colours and this will work absolutely fine. My front panel is in normal weight basic white card and before I start ink blending, I'm going to mark this off into four panels. I'm making a pencil mark at the halfway point on each of the side edges. This has divided my card into two sections, so all I now need to do is divide each of those sections again at the halfway point. So you'll end up with three pencil marks on each side edge. I'm going to create my background panel from the bottom up. So the first ink will be applied to the bottom edge of the cardstock. And I'm going to start with Balmy Blue. So I pick up my ink, I just take the excess off and then using a very light circular motion, I'm applying the ink to the bottom of my card. And I'll just continue picking up more ink if necessary until I've got the depth of colour that I want. And I'm not going up to the edge of that copy paper and I've positioned that where my first two pencil marks are. So I'm going to have my colour and then some white space. Now I'm switching to Mint Macaron and this time I'm going to protect the colour that I've already applied. So I'm lining up the edge of the copy paper with the next two pencil marks. I've picked up my ink, I take off the excess and apply it to the edge of the copy paper. And again it's a light circular motion and I'll just keep applying until I get that depth of colour that I want. Now you want to make sure that you don't take the colour up to the next pencil marks. You want that white space in between. So my next colour is Blushing Bride and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Now, as you can see, I've got some colour on my copy paper here and that might still be wet and I don't want to mix it with the Blushing Bride. So what I'm going to do is just turn my copy paper around so I'm working against a clean edge. And I'll do that in just a second. Here we go. So now I can pick up my Blushing Bride ink take off the excess and then apply it to the edge of my copy paper. And then I've just got my last panel to complete and this one will be in Highland Heather. So I'm using another clean edge on my copy paper pick up my ink and apply it exactly as before. It's such a super simple technique this, but so effective. Here 
Here is the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and today I'm using the main floral image, the little dragonflies and this sentiment. I'm using my Stamparatus for the stamping in case I need to over stamp any of the images. So I'm placing my panel right into that top right corner and I'll anchor it with my magnet. Now I've already positioned this first stamp and I'll show you how I did that in just a minute. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp with. So I'll ink up my stamp, make sure it's well covered and then stamp it down. And then I can check to see if I need to over stamp. Now there's a little bit in the middle that I've missed so I'm just going to give that a press and I'm quite happy now. Next I'll stamp my little cluster of dragonflies so I'm going to position my stamp and pick it up with the plate. Now I'm not going to stamp it straight away because I'm not sure of the placement so I'm going to do what I call a dummy run. I'm covering my panel with a piece of acetate and then I'll ink up my stamp and stamp it onto the acetate. And you can see through it to determine whether you're happy or not with the placement. And I wasn't quite, um, my dragonflies were angled not quite as I would like them. So I'm just going to turn the stamp slightly. Then I can clean off my acetate and clean off the stamp ink it up again and go again, uh, still on the acetate. So I'll keep stamping on the acetate until I'm completely happy with the positioning and this time it was fine. So I'll clean off my stamp and my acetate once more, remove my magnet, remove the acetate, make sure that panel is right in that top corner ink up my stamp and stamp it onto the cardstock panel. And there we go. Now I have another plate with my sentiment already positioned and again I positioned it in exactly the same way as you've just seen me do for the little dragonflies. So I'm just turning my cardstock panel because that's how I positioned my stamp. Then I can ink it up and stamp it down. And this time I did need to over stamp it. So I'm going to ink it up once more and over stamp. My card base is in balmy blue cardstock. And this is half a standard sheet of card scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. For inside the card I have a basic white mat and I'm going to decorate the bottom of it with a strip of basic black onto which I'm going to add some designer series paper. And this is just a piece of our retired, um, I think it was called Gingham Gala. Then I have a basic black mat that I'm going to layer my stamped panel onto.
And that's my card complete. Here's another look at my original card. You could use any of the colours that you used for blending as the card base colour. Now for this one I used Highland Heather and obviously the one I've just done was Balmy Blue but it would have looked just as nice with Mint Macaron or Blushing Bride. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.